Thank you for listening to today's Veterans Christian Fellowship Devotional Bible Study, True and Lasting Peace. Please click the link in the description to read along, and be sure to look up and study the reference scriptures throughout. Our scripture reading today begins in John chapter 16. I'll be reading verses 1 through 33 in the New King James Version. Jesus is speaking. These things I have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble. They will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he offers God service. And these things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things I have told you that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I did not say to you at the beginning because I was with you. But now I go away to him who sent me, and none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment, of sin because they do not believe in me of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more, of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. A little while and you will not see me. And again a little while and you will see me because I go to the Father. Then some of his disciples said among themselves, What is this that he says to us? A little while and you will not see me and again a little while, and you will see me, and because I go to the Father. They said, therefore, What is this that he says? A little while. We do not know what he is saying. Now Jesus knew that they desired to ask him, and he said to them, Are you inquiring among yourselves about what I said? A little while, and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me? Most assuredly I say to you that you will weep, and lament, but the world will rejoice, and you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in labor, has sorrow because her hour has come, but as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore, you now have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice and your joy no one will take from you. And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. These things I have spoken to you in figurative language, but the time is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figurative language, but I will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I shall pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have believed that I came forth from God. I came forth from the Father, and have come into the world. Again I leave the world, and go to the Father. His disciples said to him, See, now you are speaking plainly, and using no figure of speech. Now we are sure that you know all things, and have no need that anyone should question you. By this we believe that you came forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Indeed the hour is coming, yes, has now come, that you will be scattered, each to his own, and will leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 26 reads, He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, 
but whoever walks wisely will be delivered. In yesterday's message, Don't Let Your Hearts Be Troubled, Trust in Jesus, we discussed how a believer's understanding of God's sovereignty helps to grow faith and trust in the Lord as He guides us on His straight path of deliverance that we would be incapable of walking alone. Trusting in Jesus with all our hearts as He teaches us to walk by faith, not by sight. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, the Apostle Paul said, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. How can we have this peace Paul speaks of as we face the trials of each day? Well, Jesus' brother James said, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. When believers place their full faith and trust in the Lord, we are remaining in Christ so that He remains in us. Then we can allow His peace to rule in our hearts no matter our circumstances. When we know that God is sovereign and that He works all things for the good of those who love Him, we can do as James says and consider our trials pure joy because we know that God is working beauty from the ashes. This is trusting the Lord. Jesus calls to all, saying, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Coming to Jesus means placing your full faith and trust in Him alone. Being yoked in fellowship with Jesus, believers can faithfully surrender their burdens to Him and praise Him because He will work everything out for our good if we give Him control. This requires believers to be still and know that He is God. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 4-7, through 7, Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. The only path to true lasting peace in life is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Will you surrender control to Jesus and receive his peace today?